Hello, welcome to yet another interesting adventure on New Vision TV's Pearl of Africa Diaries with me, Ruth Naseje, your pal guide. <laughs> and today I bring you Chisiza Falls, which carries beauty and an interesting ancient history of horror. Now today the 30 meter high falls have become a great attraction to thousands of visitors who come from far and wide to enjoy the cool breeze and the mixture of bird singing and the water rattling. So join me on this exciting adventure in Rukunjiri district. <laughs> There is no place in Uganda that has grown that popular out of its history like Chisizi Falls. What makes Chisizi unique for tourists is how the ancient site of horror has turned out to be a monumental tourist attraction, owing visitors from the US, Europe and the Far East. The beautiful Chisizi Falls lie on Chavamba River, a few meters from Chisizi Hospital in Lukunjiri district, which borders with Kawale, the sweetest land of Uganda. In the southwestern corner of Uganda, the 30-meter high falls meander through the valley of green vegetation leading to Lake Edward. This explains the rapid sounds of water, which can nearly block your ears while here. But if you decide to tell your ears to relax, then welcome the reception this sound offers. Trust me, all you will hear are music melodies. Let's try. The sound that hits and bounces off the rocks is accompanied by a strong wind through the trees and the singing birds. The history that looms around these falls is clearly shown on these sculptures. A quick stare at them defines what tradition would offer if you did not adhere to it. Traditionally, Bachiga girls who would get pregnant before marriage would be thrown down to meet their fate from this cliff. The practice was followed for a long time until when the tables turned. This happened to a family which lost two children at the same time to the folds. It was the role of a brother to push his pregnant sister down the folds as family and community members looked on. That fateful day, as a girl was dragged to the cliff, she pulled her brother and two fell to the bottom of the folds and died. It is reported that since then the Bachiga abandoned the practice. But like many African cultures, premarital pregnancies were prohibited. For the Bachiga, dropping culprits down the folds was the verdict. Such tales make the visit to this place worthwhile since they are told in a traditional setting. Some of the people who witness such actions are still alive. As we continue to encounter weird strong winds, a tiny path leads us through into what is termed as Chisizi Caves. Very few people know that Chisizi has caves and little is written or known about them. These are hidden, just like any other cave. The cave is basically rocky. It has two seats made out of timber where you can rest after a long walk. Meditating is what I could recommend while here.
After exploring these notable features at Chizizi, there are more activities you cannot miss out on. A small forest surrounding the falls is a great place for picnics, hikes and forest walks. To attain a great view of the Chigezi area, involving yourself in a hike is very commendable. It also feels good walking on the bridges. For those who do not fear heights, this is definitely what you need. Ziplining is just another interesting activity that can be tried out. As we wind up this adventure, we can't miss making a stop at Chisizo Hospital. This hospital is greatly connected to the falls. When the practice of dumping unmarried pregnant girls into the falls stopped, the area became a place of hope and healing. The Church of Uganda established the Hospital in 1958. The hospital now attends to over 3,000 patients who come for health services on a daily basis. Features like Chisizi Falls are some of the reasons why Uganda is called the Pearl of Africa. With such adventures, staying in this country gets better day by day. Let's warm up for another adventure. It's a wrap for Chisizi Falls. New Vision TV's Pearl of Africa Diaries is home of adventures. So till next time, I am Ruth Nasege. Thank you.